Look, look, the boy is running. Hello, tech boys, tech girls. Let's make an animation player today. Animation player is the fifth model in the box. Chinese name is 动画放映机 There's one package of material, one cardboard, and two pieces of printed paper. First, find the package with the same name. There is still a board with colors. That's not what we want. There are three boards with orange colors on both sides. One of them is smaller. Now look at these two big ones. This one, there are two big circles. And this one, there is only one big circle. On the right is something like this. So this is the one we are going to use. Find the deep lock bag. Take out these two pieces of paper. There's a number one and number two on the paper. If you look at this paper, the drawing is a boy running at different positions. The second paper looks similar. We also need a double-sided tape, which is provided in the box, and also a pair of scissors. So let's open the bag first. This is the instruction menu. Turn to step one. Step one asks us to remove these parts from the board. Use a pen to remove these little circles. Now let's take out everything from the bag. Put these two together. Now take the black foam. Remove. The little circle in the center. I put it on the other side. I take note: on the black foam, one side has a double-sided tape; the other side does not have. So we need the double-sided tape to face outside. Going to peel off one layer from the tape. I paste this piece on top. We're going to take these two longer pieces. Let the white color facing upwards, and fix them this way. So the white color facing upwards, and this gap is pointing this direction.
and we will take the shorter piece and fix them around the circle side. I'll take this double-sided tip, peel off from one side, and paste it onto the white plastic circle. Next, Let's take these two pieces of paper. In between two pictures, there is this one very thin paper. So let's remove it. We will do this to remove all the pieces in between two pictures. Let's do the same for paper one. Next, let's take the double-sided tip. We have number two and number one here. So let's remove one portion of the double-sided tip and cover this part with number one. Do the same for the paper with number two. Take one piece of paper, remove the top layer from the double-sided tip, and paste these two pieces of paper together this way. Now take the double-sided tip again and paste it at the bottom of the paper. Make sure that the pictures are facing upwards. So we paste the double-sided tip this way. To make it easier, I'll paste the double-sided tip from the beginning to the middle of the paper first, cut it, then I'll paste it again from the middle of the paper to the other end of the paper. Now let's take this big circle and remove the top layer from this double-sided tip. Don't remove it all the way, just remove one portion and then put the circle on top of the double-sided tip. As we roll the circle, we will remove the top layer of the double-sided tip. So do it slowly. We continue with the other portion of the double-sided tip. So continue to Remove the top layer of the double-sided tip 
and at the same time roll the circle until the paper is pasted around the circle. Then we are going to remove top layer of this portion of double-sided tape. And paste the two ends together. And remember the double-sided tape that we pasted on the white plastic? Now we can remove the top layer from this double-sided tape and put the circle on top of it. Make sure this circle can be spinned easily. Now take this one and the smaller piece connect these two. Next we'll take this finger light Pull the rubber band to the other side. Push the button. Make sure the light is working. Then push it off. Next, fix the light to the handle. Make sure that the light is pointing to the correct direction. Next, fix the handle onto the base. Make sure the light is pointing downwards. Let's test the light again. It works. Now we are going to Turn off the light in the room. Wow! And test that the circle can be spin freely. If it's not moving smoothly, try to adjust a little bit. Now let's Look through the gaps. What do you see? The boy is running. We only put some pictures and we spin the circle. Why are we seeing that the boy is running? This is because something called persistence of vision. When our eyes see the first picture, the picture won't disappear immediately. It will stay on our retina for a while. Now the second picture comes. Our eyes won't be able to tell there is a gap between the first picture and the second picture. It will think that it is continuous. That's why we think the boy is running. <laughs>